All right, guys, it's time for the video you knew you wanted uh, or you didn't know you wanted. But we're going to talk about the frogman over here that's kind of covered in sparkly effects. This frog shop, pretty good overall. Uh, it's been a little over a week now since it was added to the game. So I think that's enough data for me to have formulated my opinion on it. Uh, and of course, this is going to just be all anecdotal. Um, evidence slash data because I don't have any hard data and anybody that says they do is just kind of off their rocker unless some people in Korea have data mined it or like crowd pooled sources I don't know uh, before we get into the rest of the video though I'll leave a like if you uh, want to help out the channel helps it out a bunch gives us more visibility etc etc and of course subscribe uh, if you haven't Trying to get to 750 before the end of the year. I think we'll be able to do it since you guys are amazing. Uh, back to the video now, though. Let's open up here, Mr. Frog. So, I did already buy the uh, legendary engraving bags. So, let's talk about the engraving bags first. So, there's no easy way to say it, but this is just pure gambling. Week one, I got six books that were completely useless. They were all emergency rescue contender, etc., etc. I lost all my money. This week, however, I got Hunger, Grudge, uh, Empress. What else did I get? Uh, Desperate Salvation, Mayhem. So I made about 50k. I don't know if engraving books are weighted higher. Um, like the crappier ones are rated higher, so you'll pull them more often. And the class ones are rated lower, so you won't pull them as often. Or, I, I don't know. I can't say. Um, what I can say is, anecdotally, I think it's a safer investment to gamble on these because I, I imagine the expected return is at least break even, um, if not profit. Again, it's completely gambling, so I don't really want to say one way or the other should you buy these. I've been buying them because I have too much gold and I don't know what to do with it. Uh, ultimately, though, up to you. And then, upgrade chests. These are quite good, um, at least for North America West. Uh, it just depends, really, do you need the materials on that character that you're buying them on? Because if yes, and you're planning on honing and you need mats, buy it. If no, don't buy it. Very simple, very straightforward. Um, the value here is very good. Even if you hit a bunch of blues, if you hit like one leapstone drop or like one shard pouch drop, I mean, that pretty much makes up for it. Even red crystals, like they're pretty good. Just good overall, honestly. This is a good way to catch up for newer players for cheaper than expected. TBH, honestly. TBH, honestly, fam. And then finally, my favorite box, the Lucky Random Chest. Um, a lot of people are probably going to tell you this is worthless, and in most cases, I would probably agree. But if you're at the point in the game where, one, card XP is important to you because you're trying to get demon percent damage and beast percent damage and all that other stuff, um, the fun stuff, um, the card book bonuses, I made a video on that not too long ago. Not too long ago. I can speak English. I swear. I promise. I promise. Um, but if you're looking for card XP to expand your book, this is very good because card XP is quite gated. Uh, the second point of this is card packs. Um, the card packs and the card XP are the two things we're looking out of this. Obviously, a legendary selection is... If you get one of those for any amount of gold, in my opinion, that makes it worth it instantly. Because if one were to drop an Abyss Dungeon, I would pay whatever I had on me to get it. Because I'm going for LOS 30, and it's invaluable to me at this point. So I have been buying this on all of my characters every week. Um, I'm slowly buying it out on all my characters this week. I bought it out on all my characters last week. And I have how many? Let's see. 3, 6, 12, 15. I have 15 characters. Okay. Okay. Uh, I obviously can't buy it on the Reaper, so I bought it on 14 characters last week. And then I'll buy it on 14 more this week. I have gotten one selector pack out of this, which I think is not the typical expected return. 
but you see I got legendary epic card packs and these are really good because you have a 20% chance I believe to pull a legendary card pack from it uh, it's a random one but hey yeah see we got one so let's see what we get out of this Ooh, come on give me an LOS 30 card Ooh, not what I wanted but fate of the Lazarus is a nice set because uh I mean Beatrice is in it and Beatrice is bay anyways that's all I wanted to make a video on this week uh, for the shop. I do want to say, though, uh, just to reiterate, lucky random chest, probably not worth it unless you're at the point in the game where you're looking for card XP and cards. Um, then it, I think, is invaluable. Uh, gambling bags for engravings. I want to say antidotally, I think it's worth it based on just... How many good engravings there are versus how many bad engravings there are. I don't know if they're weighted or not, though. So, again, uh, up to you. It's your discretion. Do you want to gamble or not? That's what it comes down to. Uh, and then material chests. Are you honing on that character and do you need the mats? If yes, very worth it. Cheaper way to hone. Good way to catch up for newer players. Um, yeah. That's it. Have a good rest of your day, you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you like if you like, dislike if you dislike, and subscribe. Bye.